Hello dear, I am Gigdilino and today I'm going to be teaching you how to design your Fiverr Geek image. As you can see here on the screen, these are examples of Fiverr Geek image. These are all Fiverr Geek image and I'm on Fiverr platform right now. So currently I'm on the, sell, I'm on the seller mode. So why I'm on the seller mode is for me to be able to show you all this, what uh, Fiverr Geek image look like. So I'm going to show you how to design a professional Fiverr Geek image. As you can as, as you can see, if you take a look at all these top sellers, you see they are really using amazing fiber geek image. So in this in this video, I will teach you how to design a professional fiber geek image. So first of all, what you need to know is you can either make use of uh, Photoshop or you can make use of uh, of of other free tools and i'm going to show you those are free tools you can, which you can use in creating your fiber geek image but first of all let's just talk about fiber geek image okay so i know that yes you might be wondering how do you design amazing image like this so like i said you can either design the image using photoshop or you can use a free tool like canva canva is an online tool where you can design various kind of image any kind of image and you can make use of them on maybe your social media platform maybe your youtube channel maybe anything you can use you can create amazing um amazing image with, with canva so currently i'm still on fiverr so as you can see once you scroll down to once you scroll down you see different images you see people using just their or just using their own image doesn't matter but if you want to get more more uh more sales then you, you have to start making use of customized fiber gig image image like this as you can see this is a top verified seller you can see this image this image is really really amazing you can design something like this using photoshop but if you're using canva you might not really get that benefit to if you're using canva free you might not be able to get a full benefit of how you design your gig on your, your, your geek image when you're using Photoshop so I'm not really teaching you how to design your fiber geek image using Photoshop I know most of us may be familiar with Photoshop most of us may have few knowledge about Photoshop but this video is just for me to teach you how to design your fiber geek image using Canva I'm not teaching you how to how, how to make use of Photoshop if you are familiar with Photoshop and you're good with Photoshop then boom you can move to Photoshop and make use of Photoshop for all your geek image but if you're actually new to fiverr you don't have any knowledge of how you can design your fiverr geek image then you should make use of canva canva is the best so first of all i'll just go to canva.com yes canva.com i also make use of canva most times when i say that i can make use of photoshop so if i just come down to my to my to my to my bar you will see this photoshop icon here i have photoshop installed on my laptop so i also make use of photoshop so it doesn't look like yeah i'm just i'm just i'm just saying what i don't know how to use so i really have i have to chop my laptop installed so as you can see this is canva it's canva i have designed so many things on canva as you can see so many things on canva so let's go back to fiverr so i'm just going to look for a, a i'm just going to look for um, an image here on fiverr that i'm going to design i can't really design i think i can design something like this on on canva but okay but my seem a little bit hard so i'll just go to something that's much more simple i think i saw one image when i was okay i said something like this i think this is better so i'm just going to click on this so when you're designing fiverr your fiverr geek image there are a few things you need to note is it that you're adding your image on your on your on your on your on, your, on, on, that your, on that your image like when i mean your image i mean like a profile image like my image here i can add my image on it so this one is simple and i love it and i think i'm going to show you how to design something like this so first of all you can see this background this background there's there is a laptop there is uh like something like a, a, a something for medical medical check and there's a glass there is phone and what they are doing on the laptop here i think they are doing something about social media i say i think social media here so to design something like this you have to get a background to get a background image you can just go to unsplash unsplash please watch this video Forget about the length, how length, how, how sorry, how long the video might be. You need to understand how to create a, a, a fiber image. So yeah, I'm on, I'm on unsplash. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to type. I'm just going to type, search for an image like this. I'm going to search for an image like this. So what I'm just going to do is come back to unsplash. 
Okay, so now I'm thinking what what should be the name of this of that. Okay, I can just put laptop. Laptop on table. Okay, I mean I might not necessarily see that kind of image because it might be really really difficult for me to see that kind of image. So what I'll just do is look for something similar to that or something amazing more than that, then make use of it. I can still make use of it. Okay, I think I can make use of this. Why I'm making use of this is because the background is kind of bright, it's bright and it's good for me to use. So look for another one, or look for a few more, a few more, a few more, a few more. I can use. Or let's look for a few more. I think I can use. I think I can also make use of this. I like this. So I'll just go for this. I'll go for this. Okay, convert kit. I think I like this image from convert kit. Yeah, colors are here, so it's amazing. So what I'll do is click download. So why is downloading? I'll come back to Canva. If you are not familiar with Canva, Canva is really easy. Once you sign up, once you sign up to Canva, you just log in with your, with your Gmail or Facebook. I prefer using your Gmail, depending on whatever I want to use. Depending. On. So once you come to create a design, Canva is going to ask you what kind of design do you want to create. Are you trying to create a design for Instagram logo, whatever? Then you're just going to you're just going to click on custom design because you are trying to design from scratch. So I don't know the width of this. Of this of Fiverr Geek image, so I'll just go. I'll just go to Google and type Fiverr. Sorry, Fiverr Geek image size. As you can see, Google even brought that out. Like they know I'm trying to request for the Fiverr Geek image size. So yeah, as you can see, it's 550. So I'll just I'll, I'll just select 550. Come back to sorry, come back to Canva. And then put the width 550. Then come back. I think the height is. Sorry, I should have, I should have crammed that. Okay, then I just come, okay, 370. Yeah, it's through it. Click on it. Okay, so once you, once you finish typing this 370, you just click on the create design, create new design. Create new design, don't forget, just click on, once you, once you click on create new design, it opens this new tab. You can open this new tab with this, with this size. So as you can see, it's opening, it's opening, it's opening. Then I can close this since I already know the size for the fiber gig image. Don't forget we have our downloaded image right here. Why I haven't canceled this is because of I still need to bring that bring this image to my Canva. So I'll just. I'll just pause this, then continue. Okay, so finally the Canva has already opened. So what I'll just do now is drag this image into my Canva. Well, you might be surprised that maybe okay, maybe maybe you have the image saved on your laptop. I'm just designing this as an example, so I can just make this video much more faster. But if you're designing anything for your for your for your uh, for your, for, your, for your geek image, don't forget you need to know the title of what you're designing. Maybe you are designing something about SEO and technical. These are two words you need to put to put when you're designing. Most times you can also put you can also put under word again like WordPress. As you can see, if you, if you have a logo, maybe a WordPress logo by the side, it's also going to be cool. And this is also still cool. So what I just do is, if if you're actually new to uh, to Canva, if you want to upload image, you can come to this upload section and upload the image. Then before you drag the image in, so what I just do is. Since I have this downloaded, I'll just drag it in. Once I drag it in, it's going to still upload on, it's still going to upload. So, okay, this is uploading. Is it uploading? Yeah, it's uploading. It's okay, so I think it has uploaded. So I'll just drag it to the beginning of this image, to the beginning of this Canva, then drag it to the end of this Canva. Don't forget, we are trying to design, we're going to design something like this. Okay. So now we need to add an element on top of this image so it can look much more like that one. So okay, 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 okay. We need to add a shape. So I'll just click here. I've used this shape before, so I'll just okay make it okay. Okay, so it's in line, then drag it to the end again. Okay, I'll just put it like this. Okay, then increase it. Okay, 
So now I'll just change the color. Prancy. Sorry about that, I'm familiar with using Canva. So If you have a brand color for your for, for, for your design, you can make everything look much more similar. Okay. Like I said, if you are on Photoshop, you can design this much more faster and easy. Same here on Canva. So the next thing for us to do is to put this Yoast SEO and that image. So I just do is come to element again. Anytime you're trying to add shapes to your Canva, always come to this element. So I click on element again. So at this junction, I'll just speed up the video so you can just watch why I design. So just watch why I design. So I won't be talking till I'm done with this. With this. Okay, so I think this is it. We are done with the fiber gig image. As you can see, it's looking amazing. Amazing. So now you can download the image. You can download the image and start making use of it on your fiber gig. You can just upload it to your fiber gig, then make use of it. Then also, if you, you, don't forget, don't forget, this is just an example. You can design different kind of image for your, for your, for your fiber gig. You can design different kind of image. How I designed this image is only just, I'm just only using boxes. You can see boxes, 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 they're yeah, all boxes. Depending on whatever you want to design, you can do anything here on Canva. And Canva also gives you custom designs, like uh, like designs they've already, sorry, like designs they've already done, you can add them to your, to your gig. To your, sorry, to your gig image when you're designing. So that's it for this video. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amazing videos like this. See you in the next video.